Hey guys, it's guys, welcome to another video of Maxi Aspie and today I was going to talk about how to cope in stressful situations for an autistic person. Now originally I was going to speak about autism and all things on the web, you know, all to do with cyberbullying all the way to hate crime all the way to basically scamming as well that happens because I read a article this week which was about a parent that brought some Liverpool tickets and for the Champions League and basically they were fake and it was for his autistic son and they were not able to go to the game because of that. But the reason I want to talk about stressful situations is it got me thinking about the stressful situations that have been going on at the moment that an autistic person may have felt very vulnerable in, whether it's the, the Jubilee celebrations which has been going on, which is obviously absolutely brilliant, 70 years on the throne and, and it's great accomplishment and which everyone should be celebrating. But for an autistic person that could be quite stressful. Also the Liverpool game and what happened at the Liverpool game that was an incredibly stressful situation. There would have been Liverpool fans there who are autistic or would have had their children there who are autistic and all that going on in France would have been a major stress anxiety trigger for an autistic person. So originally I was gonna talk about the scamming and everything that happened, especially as I just finished uh, doing a speech at the IT Service Desk Institution show, which was great. And thank you for everyone that came to that and listened to me waffle about all things IT and autism. However, today I wanted to change it up a bit and actually tell you a few things that I do when I am now in stressful situations. So I'd say ever since the pandemic, a lot more things stress me out and it's hard to actually measure what a stressful situation is because it could be going to the shop for one person, walking into a pub, it could be putting their hand up in class to read a book. It, it really varies of what a stressful situation can look like for an autistic individual. For instance, me just going to the shop now has become very stressful. I don't like being around a lot of people. I find it quite stressful. And these are some of the tips and advice I, I do and I put into practice for myself. So my first tip would be give yourself some time. You know, if you ever feel yourself in a, in a stressful situation, just give yourself that bit of time to process, to take in your surroundings and just take that time for, for you to, to process what is going on. And that can be tough because some people don't understand and some people don't give you the time that you need. Make sure that you give yourself that time to just process that information, go to where you need to go and then come back to where you need to be and, and, and then you can move forward with the situation. A little bit like the first one, but count to 10. I always feel like meditating, counting to 10, just taking yourself out of that situation, giving yourself 10 seconds just to be able to think about what is going on. Uh, just taking 10 seconds just to breathe sometimes can just be really, really helpful. So that's another thing I would advise. Another tip is take yourself to a calm place. I always say a lot of places, I say a lot of places, a lot more places are now taking the initiative to create sensory rooms and everything else. It needs more needs to be done in that in that place, in that market. However, a lot of places now will offer some sensory room that you might be able to take yourself to. So always ask if there is a sensory room. If not, don't be afraid just to, you know what, if I'm out shopping, I need to just drop my stuff off and I need to go outside and I'll come back later or I'll do it later. Don't be afraid just to do that if you need to. It's really important that you just take yourself to a calm place or take yourself to another aisle or another room or, or anything or anywhere that you are just to be able to deal with the situation and feel that you're ready to, to handle it. Another tip I would always say is call or talk to someone you know. If you're with someone, great, because that's always helpful because someone there is always going to be able to support you. If that person isn't, then they're probably not the best person to go out shopping with or anything else. But normally, the person that you're with is quite quite good in that respect and will be able to help you and support you in the way that you need. If not, always call somebody. If you're in a stressful situation, you don't know what to do, call somebody, whether it's your parents, your carer, your 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 friends, any anyone. If it just helps you get through that situation, then feel free to, to call somebody and don't feel like you can't or you can't do that in public. Something I always do now is have an exit plan through 
you know, backed up, you know, so going to a building, you know the way out, you know what you're going to do if this happens or that happens, just having a plan of where to go and what to do if something goes wrong. I, I always tend to have that, whether I'm driving, whether I'm entering a building for the first time, I, I take in my surroundings and pretty, pretty sure make sure that I know where I need to go if I, if I have a, a meltdown or get myself in a stressful situation. And this one is really hard, but avoid the situations if you can. And it can be tricky because I'm always forced people trying to challenge their, their fears and overcome their fears. However, you don't want to have a meltdown every time that you try to attempt it. Sometimes it's about sort of softening yourself into it, whether you do it with someone else. Uh, for the first time, you know, you, for instance, mine was getting the bus. So if you get the bus for the first time with somebody, that can really help. Don't just go in, you know, all, all guns blazing because it might have a negative impact. So, you know, avoid the situations if you can but also don't be afraid to challenge yourself and gradually overcome something if, if you need to overcome it. But if obviously if you can, avoid those situations that are triggering you to have meltdowns and being in stressful situations. Another one is assess the situation because sometimes we can, I know I do it, I can make a situation 10 times worse in my head than what it actually is. So if you have the time to assess the situation for what it is, be able to park your feelings and your emotions by the side and be able to assess it from a different light, that can sometimes help. And obviously these tips are not only just to autistic people, but it's to people to educate you know, their, their, their children or educate their students who are autistic or, or going into an autistic sort of studying or, or special education needs studying. These are the sort of things I would always ask people to think about is assessing the situation for what it is. So if I'm in a shop, yeah, there's many people around me, but assess the situation. Am I in danger? Am I gonna have a meltdown? Is it too much? Do I know the way out? Is it life-threatening? All these situations, I try and park my emotions to the side and assess the situation for what it, what it is. And the last one is I'd always say prepare, you know, whether that's preparing in your mind or sometimes even writing down. You know, so if this happens, this is what I'm going to do. If this happens, this is what I'm going to do. And writing it down, but also researching as well. So if you go into somewhere, you know, so you know what it looks like, that can really help an autistic person, just that visualization of what it looks like. So it's just preparing in any event. If this happens, this is what I do. You write it down, that's like a new rule. You know, if this happens, I write it down. And, this, and it just sort of solidifies it then because it's always in writing and you can see it, you can visualize it and even take it with you if it really helps you in that situation. And guys, obviously it's very tough being in stressful situations. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts, what your opinions are in the comments below. Tell me if you enjoyed the video and tell me stressful situations that you've been in. But obviously I'd always stress to people that you see somebody and you think that they are anxious or having a meltdown you know help help that person you know try and talk to them try and calm them down try and try and help each other because at the end of the day if more and more people was to help each other a lot more problems would be fixed and a lot more problems would not be an issue so if we understood each other more I think a lot more things wouldn't happen and a lot more things could, could be helped. But guys, thank you for watching as always. Take care and goodbye for now.